Hello there. Hello. Whoa. Shit. Anyway, hello there, guys. My name is uh, Sam Sadler. And I am now here to do my show called Ask Sam. Ask Sam is exactly what it says on the on the tin, even though there is no tin. You basically send me questions and uh, I ask them, really. Um, bit of news, Ask Sam will only be coming now once a month. Uh, the next Ask Sam will be, obviously, in September. Um, it's the only show where you guys are get given shout outs unless you send me a video suggestion and I tell and I say and mention you at the beginning. So enough of me jib jabbering on. We've got less questions this time. We've got like only seven questions, but there's still a list of shout outs I need to go through. So yeah, it may seem boring to some, but still you will learn a little bit about me and there are questions. So let's Crack on and enjoy. I hope you like it, guys. Okay, so Ashley Welch has started off with uh, our new monthly Ask Sam by asking me, would you break the law to save a loved one? Right now, I like someone, of course. Um, of course, I, you know, you guys know I like some someone. I've been, like, saying it for ages now. But would I, would I save her? If, would I break the law for her? Yes. Yes, I would. But there you go. If it was that drastic, and obviously she means something to me, I would break the law. Yeah. I'd break the law. Robbie Lambie has asked me, I fancy my teacher, Sam. I am 14 years old and she is 39. Do I have a chance or is, just, or is it just a pipe dream? I'm going to have to level with you here, buddy. I think it's just a pipe dream. This woman could be married. Robbie is a woman. You are a man or... I, Robbie, are you a boy or a girl? Shit. Oh, dear. I'll just uh, have a look. Oh, dear. I think... She, anyway, anyway. Moving on, I think it is a pipe dream. You, you've just got to, you've just got to let it go. You know, just, just let it go. Find someone else because that teacher could be married, have kids, etc., etc. You don't want to risk anything uh, by saying that you have a crush on them because it could impact your whole life, and then the school, the rest of the school could find out, and you could become a laughing stock. Now, I know that is very hypocritical saying, or although I am a laughing stock, still, I think it's a lot worse when the whole school would know that you had a massive crush on a teacher. If you still, if you still like the teacher, Robbie, don't tell any of your friends, even though your friends, even though your friends could possibly watch this video and know, so, yeah, uh, I've sort of ruined it right there, oh shit, All right, anyway, just good luck, I, I don't know, do what you want, I'm not in control of your life, it's your life, my friend, it's your life, Tom Williams has asked me, what inspired the name SSCan99, now many people say Scan99, and I can totally understand why, I say it as SSCan99, I don't really... Alright, I used to have Habbo. Does anyone remember Habbo? The really pedo-ish hotel where you could like just go and meet new people. That's how I got a lot of MSN addresses. Well, uh, yeah, I my Habbo name was SSCan99. And I've always kept to that, really. It basically means my hot mail is Sam-Can. So, Sam Sadler Can 99. Now, obviously, I could have just put 96 because I was born in 96, but I put 99 for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, that's sort of where my name comes from. Becca Long has asked me, do I have any pets? Nope. I once had a family cat, but I think I scared it and it was never to be seen again. Jack Hodges has asked me, hello, Sam. All right, Jack. Does my dad know about, does does your dad, so my dad, know about my YouTube fame and does he watch my videos? 
That's a good question. Uh, that is quite. I like that question. My dad does know about my YouTube. He does know about. I wouldn't like to say I'm YouTube famous, although I do have a lot of hits, which I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of. And the other day on my Facebook page, I hit 2,000 members, and uh, I have got currently 2,000. 13 members on my Facebook page, so big likes to whoever's liked it. Um, he does watch my videos, yes, and he does find them extremely funny. My dad gets people where he, where my dad works, people go into where he works and says, I saw your boy on YouTube the other day, and yeah, I think that's pretty cool stuff. Gordon Grant has asked me, do I believe in a heaven or a hell? Yeah. I believe in a heaven. Heaven, that is me lying in pussy. Be brilliant. But yeah, I think there is something. I don't want to just die and then it's just pitch blackness, but that's probably what the outcome is going to be. But let's not talk about death or anything, because, yeah. Peter Bacon. Oh, what a name. I love that name. Peter Bacon. I want to eat you. Does second base actually feel like warm apple pie? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Right, it is now time for a hell of a load of shout-outs. So, if you don't want to listen to the shout-outs, you can go. But uh, apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed them series of beautiful questions. Okay, you sexy shaggable muffin monsters. It is now time to do some shout-outs. Hope you like. Okay, so we've got a shout out to James Sheldon, Ed Douglas, Reese Williams, Carly Edge, Andrew Lewis, Jess Harris, Max Corey, Emily Cowley, Callum Morgan, Benjamin Cavanai Brunton, and Eduardo de Hook, and Mr. Belland, Belland, something. Katie Cross, William, Will McWilliam, Olivia Percival, what a name, that's a beautiful name, James Newman, my best friend, James Stuart Green, who is an absolute legend, um, Rosie Byrne, Alex Evans, Mitchell King King, Jack George, Gordon Grant, and Diana, Dina, Dina, Dina. Zach King, Mikalak, Jazz and Mags, keep it real guys. Jordan Balak, 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 James Fitter, the beautiful Zoe Abel and Shelby Ann. And now we're going to move on to some Twitter people. And that Twitter people is for Dewey Jones, De De oh, I said that really gaily. Dewey, Dewey Jones, Alan Worrell. Amy Alice, Holly Brown, and they're all from Flint in North Wales. Wow. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that series of shout-outs. Um, thank you to you lot that have watched my videos in Wales. Um, I really do appreciate That sounds a bit harsh, doesn't it? Thank you to everyone that's watched my videos everywhere, really. But it's just really cool to see that my videos have been recognised in, like, Wales. That's, that's awesome. And now I know people are going to complain because they weren't shouted out. You can always, always have a chance next month. But in a few weeks' time, I'm off to my very first festival. I am off to the Sundown Festival. The Sundown Festival is basically um, at the Norfolk Showground in Norwich with artists such as Ollie Murs, Katie B, Pixie Lot, Wiley, um, Labyrinth, Chasing Status, Miss Dynamite, intensity all, all all other people like that and i'm really looking forward to going to watch to going to sundown unfortunately i'm only going to be there for one day but uh if you do see me by any chance i'll be there on saturday the 1st of september come and say hello to me um it'll be nice to see you that's all i can say really and then on the friday so the 31st of August, I am off to Harry Potter World, um, the set one, which I'm really excited to go into. 
All right, then, guys, take care of your sexy selves, and I will see you whenever. Stay fresh. Causing a heat wave. Causing a heat wave. I've got five to sell people wanting them on my body, on my body. Put your hands on my body, on my body, on my body. Put your hands on. You want me to go? Yeah, sure. Bye. Oh, my, I forgot to uh, also shout out to Dirty Mike from Australia, mate. Good bloody day to you. Good eye.